What's up YouTube? This is 4th Star TCG and today I'm going to be doing something that I have not done on my channel yet. Uh, it is a Pokemon TCG competitive deck profile. Um, I know a lot of people do these competitive deck profiles but I really haven't been one of them. Um, the reason I am building this deck is because I'm going to the Pokemon World Championships because it's very close to where I live. Uh, it's supposed to be an amazing experience so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Uh, my first time going to Worlds my first time going to any sort of massive championship, but um, I figured I might as well build a fun deck to play while I was there. Uh, yeah, just want to have some fun. This is not, I am not a competitive TCG uh, player, so uh, don't, <laughs> please don't like go off on me in the comments if I'm not uh, building this deck correctly, but this is uh, a deck that I've, I've had a lot of success with just playing online and stuff, and it is Mega Gallade. So uh, without any further ado, I will get into the Mega Gallade deck that I will be running. There are lots of variants of Mega Gallade, but this is the one that I will be running. Um, and I'll show you all the cards starting right now. So just got to start with the basics here. Running three copies of Gallade EX. I found that three was a very nice, uh, very nice number to run. I found that four, you uh, often had too many Gallade EXs out and you weren't able to Mega Evolve them quickly. Uh, into Mega Gallade EX, but um, yeah, three just seems like a really nice, uh, really nice number right there. So the attacks that Gallade EX has: Swift Lunge for 30 damage for a Psychic and Colorless Energy. You may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her benched Pokemon. Uh, not that bad. Um, useful for the beginning game if your opponent's getting something powered up and you just want to switch it out of the active. Uh, you can have your opponent do that. Uh, usually, it's good if it if the uh, Pokemon that your opponent switches into or is forced to switch into has a heavy retreat cost or something like that, uh, maybe if they've got only Shamans on the bench or something like that, a Jirachi, then you are able to sort of bring that up. Uh, your opponent does get to choose which Pokemon they switch with, and that's a little bit of a downside. But uh, yeah, this is definitely not a bad, uh, bad card to start with. 170 HP, 2 Retreat, and Weakness to Psychic, uh, which isn't really that beneficial uh Mewtwo EX still running around and Mewtwo EX is a big counter to this deck and really makes it impossible for this deck to run unless you can Lysander up the Mewtwo and knock it out really quickly so three copies of Gallade EX two of them being the full art version which I'm very happy with I think the full arts of Gallade and Mega Gallade look really nice next up to go with those three copies of Gallade EX I have three copies of Mega Gallade EX 220 HP on Mega Gallade EX and the attack Unwavering Blade. Let's wait for the camera to focus in there. Does 110 damage, uh, which is a really nice number. It is just enough to knock out Shamans, uh, Jirachis, and any of the other uh, any other of those support Pokemon in one hit, uh, and is good enough to two hit KO a lot of Mega Pokemon like Mega Manectric EX, which has 220 HP. Uh, you will be struggling to knock out the uh, big Megas like uh, Primal Groudon and stuff like that in two hits. But usually you can add some supplemental damage. So Unwavering Blade for two Psychic and a Colorless Energy. 110 damage and 30 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon that have any damage counters on them. So uh, there are a lot of things that you can do to spread damage out in this uh, this metagame. Uh, there's Fortress, which puts uh, a damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon once you Mega Evolve. Um, there is a Dusk Noir, which you can use to move around damage counters. And uh, there's the Bats, Zubat, Golbat, and Crobat, which I will be running in this deck. So this is a, uh, I think it's a very good card. The ability to spread damage out to the bench and... Um, really just sort of soften up a lot of Pokemon so they can get knocked out by that 110 damage uh, hit once they finally come active. So we got three copies of Mega Gallade EX. And next up, I will be running the Bats in this deck. Uh, I Because they're such an integral part of this deck, uh, you really want to get them out fast because without the Bats, you're really not doing anything. Uh, you're only hitting for 110, you're not spreading out that damage that you need. Uh, I've decided to run a 4-4-4 four, four, four line of bats, so 4 Zubat, the Plasma Storm Zubat with the ability Free Flight. This Pokemon has no energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost. Uh, this is actually very useful, you can just throw up a Zubat whenever you want, 
and uh, the evolutions have free retreat. So having an entire line of Pokemon with free retreat, you can just throw up there uh, while you're hopefully getting something powered up uh, is very nice. And the attack, wing attack for a psychic and a colorless, 20 damage. You really will never use this. I remember in one game, I was up against a Suicune, uh, Suicune deck. I think it was maybe Mega Manectric Suicune, and I had one prize left. And Suicune was the only card that my opponent, <laughs> my opponent had in play, but I could not damage it um, because all I had was EXs. But I finally, I was down to like the last couple cards in my deck, and I drew a Zubat, and I actually attacked with the Zubat. Um, I had put Suicune has 100 HP, I believe. Um, I had put 80 damage on the uh, Zubat from the regular bats, and I was finally able to knock it out and win the game with a Zubat. So uh, that attack for 20 damage can be occasionally useful, but you'll normally never be using it. What you'll mainly be using is the other bats, uh, the goal bat, 70 HP. You'll be using these for the ability, this ability, Sneaky Bite. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So that's really useful. Whenever you evolve, you can spread this damage out. Uh, you put usually you uh, you'd put 20 on a bench, and then you'd hit it for another 30 with Unwavering Blade. So that's 50 damage straight off the bat right there. And then you keep hitting it with Unwavering Blade. That damage adds up very quickly, uh, softening up those Pokemon to be uh, knocked out once they become active. And uh, these bats can also do a lot of damage if you got even something like three Zubats on the bench. You're evolving into one goal bat, one crow bat, maybe two goal bats and a crow bat, you're throwing out 60, 70 damage a turn. Uh, it can be really, really useful. So there are those goal bat right there. And then last but not least, for the bats line, we have three copies of crow bat. The ability Surprise Bite, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So that's very nice. Uh, this has free retreat as well, as does the uh, Golbat. So uh, this is very useful. You throw that three damage counters on your... Uh, that three damage counters plus Unwavering Blade, you're suddenly doing 60. Maybe you add another Crobat and a Golbat, you're doing 90, 110. Um, that stuff adds up very, very fast. Uh, so this is this Golbat, this uh, Zubat, Golbat, Crobat line is integral to this deck, really important, which is why I am running a 4-4-4 line. Um, sometimes when you're starting the game, you have a lot of bats in your hand and you have to discard them uh, to get some of your Gallades out and some of your other support cards out. <coughs> Excuse me there. So you will need... Uh, you might need to discard some of these, so that's why I run a lot of them and uh, a couple of special trainer cards to get them back if you do need to uh, do that. And then last but not least for the Pokemon, we have one copy of Shaman EX. Um, usually I would run two of this, two of this card, uh, but just because of the expensiveness of Shaman EX, uh, I actually pulled this full art myself. I did not buy it, but the regular EXs are somewhere in the neighborhood of I want to say $25, the full arts are $30 plus, and I just didn't have that money to spend on a fun deck. So only running one copy of Shaman EX in this deck, but I wouldn't normally be running two. So there are all the Pokemon right there. I believe there are 19 Pokemon. So next up, I will show you guys the supporters that we're running. I can organize them quickly. So we have the standard four copies of Professor Sycamore. Very useful card. Discard your card and draw seven cards. Going to be using that a lot with uh, Mega Gallade. You want to get uh, some cards in the discard pile. Uh, but usually you will be using a lot of the cards. So there are very few cards that you will want to discard. Um, supporters, this deck does run VS Seeker. So you will be able to get those back. Um, and energies with the Mega Turbo. And I'll be talking about that later. Um, yeah, so, uh, omissions from this deck, just a little tangent here, omissions from this deck that I would normally run if I was able to, uh, an additional Shaman EX and a Computer Search Ace spec, uh, that's mainly what I've been running with, 
Um, but basically just due to cost constraints, computer search is $15 to $20. Uh, separate Shaman EX is another $25. So uh, I'd be looking at $40, $50 just for two cards to uh, even out this deck, which really I just wasn't willing to pay that uh, just to help the deck maybe run a tiny bit smoother. But so next up we have two copies of Lysander. Uh, a lot of people would just one, run one copy, um, as I was in the past, but I found that two copies really helps out, especially with those VS Seekers. Uh, if your opponent plays Shamans, you're able to Lysander them up and take that knockout with Unwavering Blade while adding damage to the bench. Um, that Unwavering Blade uh, is, is not really good to knock out uh, the... Uh, Pokemon that your opponent will have active most of the time, but those support EX Pokemon on the bench, uh, maybe threats like Garbodor or something like that with some bat damage, you're able to knock that out. Uh, so these Lysander are very useful in this deck. Two copies, I have found, works very well. And next up, probably a uh, small surprise, I am running three copies of Shauna. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. Um, a lot of people would run N, but because N is hopefully rotating, uh, <laughs> who knows? Pokemon's been on a crazy reprint uh, reprint run lately. Uh, they're reprinting Skyla and stuff like that. But um, Shauna, very useful. Shuffle your hand, draw five cards. Really useful if you've got a lot of resources in your hand that you don't want to discard. Um, also, if you're running against a mill deck, Whale Lord, something like that, uh, Shauna, very useful. You just shuffle your hand in your deck, you don't have to discard anything, and you get five nice cards. Next up, in addition to the three Shauna, just to get a fourth uh, sort of shuffle and draw supporter, I'm running one copy of Professor Birch's Observation. Shuffle your hand into your deck and flip a coin. If heads, draw seven cards. If tails, draw four cards. So, a little bit higher risk reward there with the... Uh, Professor Birch's observations. Sometimes it can be useful uh, if you've got a lot of cards in your hand. Same as the Sycamore and Shauna. Got a lot, of, a lot of cards in your hand. You really don't want to discard them, um, and you want to take a chance on that instead of just playing the safe Shauna. Or maybe you really need a really need a resource, and you think seven cards will uh, get that for you faster. And last supporter, I'm running one copy of Zerosic. Choose a Pokemon tool or special energy card attached to a Pokemon play, yours or your opponent's, and discard it. It's very useful if your Gallades get head ringered early on. Um, Gallade really requiring that very low energy cost. Uh, usually you can get it down to two Psychic with the uh, Dimension Valley, which I'll be talking about very shortly. Uh, so that two Psychic, really important. You don't want to throw three onto uh, Mega Gallade. So this is a Rosic really working well for you uh, if you are if you're able to if your opponent is able to head ringer you early on um, or attach some sort of jamming net or something like that one of those team flare cards that are very annoying uh, the other good uh, good side to this is you can choose a Pokemon tool or special energy attached to any Pokemon in play so if you're facing Seismitoad you can discard that DCE uh, maybe the Muscle Band or Spirit Link from one of your opponent's Mega Pokemon. Zerosic is just a very useful card. I feel like it's overlooked a lot of times. Uh, being able to discard probably a lot of stuff that's in play. Um, and hopefully being able to help you out uh, in the process if you're head ringered. So those are all the supporters I am running. And now for the items, stadiums, and such like that. Uh, these are the biggest part of the deck, as usual. So for stadiums, I am running four copies of Dimension Valley. Each Psychic Pokemon's attacks, both yours and your opponent's, cost one colorless energy less. This is very, very nice uh, for the uh, for both the Batline and the Mega Gallade. You're mainly going to be using it for Mega Gallade, as you can ignore that. Uh, third energy that you need to attack and only be able to attack for two psychic energy which is fantastic as that's much easier to accelerate than uh, three psychic energy. Just one energy but um, being able to do that much quicker is insanely helpful so Dimension Valley very integral to this deck. Uh, definitely would not consider running it without Dimension Valley. This is 
and it also allows the bat line to attack basically for free. Uh, Golbat and um, and Crobat with their attacks only cost one colorless energy, so you are able to use those to attack for free. Um, and one thing I failed to mention is that sometimes you will want to attack with a Golbat, and the reason is that that move Swoop Across does 10 damage to every Pokemon in play uh, on your opponent's side, so all of those bench Pokemon, you're getting those damage counters on them right away on one fell swoop. Uh, sort of what Fortress does, but you don't have to evolve, and it's not Lysander bait. Uh, Fortress has a very high retreat cost, that's why I'm not running it. Um, but now into a couple of cards that will really help Mega Gallade. Uh, all of these item cards are really about helping Mega Gallade go very quickly and get set up fast. So we're running three copies of Mega Turbo. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. Incredibly useful with Mega Gallade. Um, you can actually attack turn two if you if everything goes fantastic. You um, you get that get that Gallade out turn one. You are able to hopefully Mega Evolve turn two and either attach a second Psychic and uh, Dimension Valley or Mega Turbo for that second Psychic if you can't. Find it. Uh, Mega Turbo also very useful for powering up bench copies of Mega Gallade EX. Uh, if you need to attach to your active, if your energy gets discarded, um, if you have a special energy on there and that gets discarded by an enhanced hammer, your regular energy gets, gets discarded by a uh, crushing hammer, these Mega Turbos really useful to get them back without having to use up your energy attachment for the turn. Uh, I did try running four Mega Turbo at one p at one time. But I found that three just worked much better. Normally you don't have to attach more than three um, energy cards from your discard pile. And I found that with four you'd usually have a lot of them in your hand that you wouldn't really know what to do with and you'd end up discarding them in one way or another with uh, no way to get them back in this deck. As Lysander's trump card has been banned, uh, which does really stink, um, this deck would benefit greatly from Lysander's trump card. As... Now just some staples here, 3 Ultra Ball, discard 2 cards from your hand, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, very useful, and just a staple of uh, any deck there. 3 Ultra Ball, and usually um, in Bats decks you run Repeat Ball or Level Ball, uh, not Level Ball, that's only coming out in Ancient Origins, uh, Repeat Ball, something like that, uh, where you can grab something without having to discard. But in this deck, I decided to run Ultra Ball, as usually you'll want to get a couple of energy cards into the discard pile to be able to be Mega Turboed later on. So more staples here. When you're running a Mega deck, you always want to run the Spirit Links, if available. So three copies of Gallade Spirit Link. Your turn does not end if the Pokemon on this card is attached to becomes Mega Gallade EX. Very useful, and just very straightforward there. Three copies of that for three copies of Gallade EX. And again, more staples, any Bats deck, you do want to run Super Scoop Up, so running three copies of those. Uh, this also works well with Shaman, you can get that back into your hand, and um, and I uh, use the Setup ability. Uh, sometimes you might want to use it on a Mega Gallade if it's got a lot of damage on it, uh, because it's usually not that hard to accelerate back up. And even more staples here, 2VS Seeker. Put a supporter card from a di from your discard pile into your hand. Uh, these are the Platinum Supreme Victors copy of VS Seeker, as uh, I actually opened up a bunch of packs from Platinum Supreme Victors and um, was actually able to get some VS Seeker from there. But now just a couple of uh, one of trainer cards here. We got one copy of Startling Megaphone. Discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Very nice. They got Spirit Links, uh, Muscle Bands, stuff like that. And you don't want to spend your Zerosic on just one. And Startling Megaphone. Next up, we got one copy of Sacred Ash. Shuffle five Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Uh, this is a sort of unique trainer that uh, I haven't seen a lot of people running, but I have decided to run it mainly because if your bats get knocked out... Uh, or you have to discard them for one reason or another to get out your main attacker, which is Gallade, um, you will want to use this Sacred Ash to uh, get those back into your discard pile, or get them back from your discard pile. One copy of Trainer's Mail, very useful card, uh, just sort of a not so much a tech in this deck as just something that's there for 
extra draw power if you got it in your hand. You can use it, look at the top four cards of your deck, you may reveal a trainer card you find there, and put it in your hand. So uh, if you're looking for a supporter, spirit link, something, anything, this deck does run a lot of trainers. So uh, this card very useful. And one copy of Switch. And now, last but not least, we have the Energies. Go very quickly through these as um, there's really not much to write home about with Energies. But I am running two copies of Mystery Energy. The card can only be attached to a Psychic Pokemon. Retreat cost of the Pokemon this card is attached to is two colorless less. So that's very nice. Works incredibly well with uh, Gallade. Uh, you attach a Mystery Energy and you now have free retreat on both the regular and mega forms. So that's wonderful. And in addition to those, six copies of Psychic Energy. So there is the Mega Gallade deck that I will be running at the Pokemon World Championships. Uh, I will probably be doing another video on uh, what I am expecting from the World Championships. Uh, sort of a call to anybody else who wants to go. And uh, if any of you guys want to say hi, if you're going to Worlds, meet me. Uh, I don't know if I have enough fans or anything to do a meet and greet or anything like that but uh definitely you can shoot me a pm or something like that or a comment if you're going to be at worlds just say hey uh be sure to look out for me uh and i will so thank you guys for watching be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for more videos